My name is Jocelyn Ramirez, and I'm the founder and chef of Todo Verde, which is a plant-based company focusing on Latin American food. I started Todo Verde in 2015 because I saw a lack of access to healthy food in my neighborhood. I started to notice that in Latino neighborhoods specifically, or black and brown communities, that we just didn't have that much healthy, good food that was gonna nourish us and keep us healthy for a long time. So when I first started Todo Verde, I didn't have any formal food experience, so I knew that I had to start really small. And so I started at local farmer's markets. It was a low barrier to entry. It really allowed me to test this product that I was trying to create. And at the time, I started really, really small with just superfood smoothies and agua fresca. And I was using produce that was from the farmers at the market. So things like chia seeds and cacao that are native to Latino communities. Um, I was reintroducing them into these smoothies and then offering them as an option. And then over time, I was able to start to integrate savory food options um, by starting our catering side of the business. And then now we're doing so much catering. We're at events all over Los Angeles and I'm looking to open our first brick and mortar location. I grew up in Southgate, which is a southeast suburb of Los Angeles, and it's also considered a food desert. Back in 2014, my dad was battling his second bout with cancer. It really forced my whole family to take a good look at what we were eating and how we can kind of change it up and go back to sort of these ancestral ways of eating, ways that my grandmother had taught my mother. In addition to that, just looking at many Latino communities across the nation, we deal with so many health issues like diabetes, high cholesterol. What other ways can we start to prevent those diseases? Because they are in fact preventable diseases. Latinos across the country and across the world are definitely a community of people who do spend their dollars on things that they agree with. And so for myself as a business owner, I'm looking at this community as my target demographic because first of all, I feel like we need it. But secondly, I feel like we do have the capacity to maintain a business model like this. So we recently had a crowdfunding campaign uh, to raise $50,000 and that's to help us open our first brick and mortar location on the east side of Los Angeles. And many people thought I was crazy because I was asking for such a big amount, but we were able to actually make the goal. People really came out for this uh, crowdfunding campaign and were excited. And the Indiegogo campaign that we have, because it made its goal within the timeline, it actually is an in-demand right now, so it's still open. So if anybody is out there and wants to contribute, they're still able to. There is a community out there like myself who went to college or having families um, really want to take advantage of our health. It really is looking at a Latina woman as my target demographic um, to kind of get into her family, to infiltrate her family because she is oftentimes making decisions for her family and what they're going to eat in terms of her, her children or maybe her aging parents. And so I feel like with Todo Verde and the business that I'm doing now, I have the opportunity to not only improve myself and keep myself on this vegan path, but to also support and help and uplift other people too.